Good evening and welcome. Tonight we will be telling a most peculiar tale regarding the Ozark Howler, a creepy cryptid stalking the belt buckle of the Bible Belt. We will be following Sarah, a young TV producer, as she descends into a perilous journey of deadly fright. We begin our story during the coronavirus lockdown, ah, that magical time when we flatten the curve and our bank accounts, when big corporations told us we were all in this together and then took billions in bailout money. Oh. Also, I forgot to add, Epstein didn't kill himself. I just made it to the Airbnb. All you could spring for is a room over a garage. The nearest hotel is at least 30 miles away. And the reviews described it as a poorly concealed meth lab. Oh, and another review said that, and I quote, it sounded like the person in the room next door was a serial killer dismembering his victim. So this seemed like a better option. Airbnb member Redneck Rick 69 triple X gave it five stars. I can't argue with any of that. Hey, you're not wearing a mask. I'm by myself. We're not wearing a mask. Well, that's because I got a state-of-the-art filtration system in this house, and it's just... Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little bit on the edge right now because this episode of Ghost Scribers is the big season finale, and we are expecting huge numbers with everyone stuck at home. I get it. There will be spooky lights and weird noises. Someone will get a chill, and we'll do lots of night vision close-ups of your face while you breathe heavily. Pure cinematic magic. That's right. I knew there was a reason that I hired you to be the producer. <laughs> well, that and the Marcian thing. You've done a great job since your promotion. When was the last time you went outside? Ooh, uh, not since we finished that dollhouse episode. Ugh, I could still hear their creepy giggling. Ugh. You haven't been outside because of creepy doll voices. Not the global pandemic? I didn't hear anything on those recordings. Well, you don't see between the astral planes like Bettina and I do, okay? And don't forget to give her a call tonight before you go on vacation. Do psychics commune with weird animals too? She's got a good feeling about this trip. I'll keep you updated. That dinner. Someone has to start eating all this canned food. We're out of MREs. I miss you. Miss you too. New York misses you. I miss everyone. But my unhinged celebrity boss is paying me big bucks to scout in the middle of nowhere. The next closest person is at least 30 cows away. What creature are you hunting this time? The Ozark Howler. Sounds like the name of a bluegrass band. Is it dangerous? Bluegrass? The creature. I'm more likely to die here from drinking the moonshine. There are worse ways to die. I just have to deliver some good TV. Bill's great at acting, terrified. Acting? I've had to buy him new pants before. Method acting? I'll let you know when we catch the Ozark Howler. Cool, bro. Later.
I'm Bill Vell Johnson, and this is Ghost Grabbers. The paranormal is not normal. They are communing with me. Oh, ow. Entity. The unknown. Low sodium. We're here in Napanee, Indiana, at the United Church of God's Disciples to explore the occurrences that have been happening here over the past. Good, good Lord, did you see, Sarah, did you feel that? Did you feel it? Did you hear that too? What was that? Oh, Bigfoot! Did you guys see that? Did you see it? He was here, he was here! What's the word from the netherworld? You are going to die. Eventually. <laughs> Sorry, old joke. Did Bill put you up to this? That thing is out there. Great. So when the crew gets here, you can come out and summon it. It will be great TV. I just sense a lot of danger and I'm worried about you. Remember the last time you had this feeling and called me? The only terrible thing that happened as I cut my bangs. There's just a weird animal energy. Something is hunting you. That's all. Wait, how did we get to something hunting me? Yeah, it comes and it goes. That's all I've got. I'm going to finish this water that I poured into a gin bottle. Can you give me anything more specific? I need to see your palm. Do you use lotion? Because that's the smallest lifeline I think I've ever seen. Guess where I am? Your mom's house? Whatever. I am about to find the Ozark Howler. Check it out. Hey, what? Wait a minute, what? Remember that map you uploaded to Google Drive? You didn't check the privacy settings. Damn it. Yeah. Like taking candy from a baby. Gavin, you're the only person I know dumb enough to give candy to a baby. Sick burn, but this is gonna make me rich. I'm gonna take Phantasm Fighters to the next level. We're gonna have the top show on oxygen. Your show's got a stupid name. Alliteration is tight. Anyway, I just wanted to share in my triumph with you. I'm about to Julius Caesar, your barbarian ass. Gavin, I get it. You went to college, okay? Here, Ozark Howler, come to Papa. Ahoo! Get away from me! Ah! Get, no! What's that? Oh, God! No! Oh. Ah! Oh! Whoa! No! Don't! Whoa! Don't! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! I guess that takes care of Gavin. Hmm. Bill? What's up? Bill? Bill hasn't left the house in months. Maybe it's the evil twin. Marcian? <laughs> I thought you died when you fell down that mine shaft. I faked my own death. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, have a fresh start. You're welcome for the ratings, by the way. Why are you in my room watching me sleep? I heard you were going after the Ozark Howler. If things go wrong with the Ozark Howler, and they will, you're going to want me around. If things go bad, I'd prefer the fictional goat monster tear my body to shreds. No offense. 
Oh man, that would be awesome. Leave. You picked the wrong twin to work with, Sarah. Since you apparently faked your own death by falling down a mine shaft, it wasn't much of a choice. It's never too late to start fresh. Give me a call when you change your mind. Bring. You will receive an unexpected visitor. Too late. Did he at least tell you who your real parents are? Sorry, wrong person. I have to call someone back. I told her she would wake to find a strange man in her room. Must have totally ruined her wedding night. Marcin was here. Martian? Really? That's weird. No, Bill. In my room. While I was sleeping. But... Uh, he fell down a mine shaft. I mean... Wait. Was he a ghost? Really, no. Are you okay? You seem fine to me. I, I... Emotionally, Bill. <sighs> how are you feeling, Sarah? Like murdering you. Oh, okay. And how would that make you feel? Satisfied. I understand, and I acknowledge your emotions. Now, let's move on. So, my twin brother is back from the dead for some reason, which is super weird, but great for the show. He said he was looking for the howler. Hmm. He's always trying to one-up me. Here's what we're going to do. I need you to head to the location first. We've got to beat him to the punch. Got it? I definitely want to go out into the woods by myself. Hey, look... You'll be fine. Have you ever seen a movie? Can you run a considerable distance without falling down? Or can you get in a car and drive away uh, if you get in trouble? Are, are you wearing the appropriate footwear? I want to raise. Sarah, this is going to be a huge episode. We've got the Howler. We've got Marcion back from the dead. The first thing I need you to do is get to the location before him. Sure, this is so glamorous. I'm here. Other than the random shoe, I don't see any sign of your devil creature. Uh... Oh, the, 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 the pile of stones over there, just a few feet away. Yes, Bill. There are rocks. But what's under them? Dirt, Bill. Dirt. Probably snakes. Yeah, something is buried under there. How do you know? Trust me. I don't. Please. these. Bill, what's going on? There's no Ozark Howler. I think. What's going on with the Conquistador piggy bank? Good question. Okay, remember your history. Hundreds of years ago, Spanish explorers start coming up Mississippi. During their travels, they are caching silver. They're coming up Mississippi. They're caching silver with the native populations, okay? And so... Via satellite imagery, so here's a satellite, beaming down images, I found a spot where I think the silver might be. So, without attracting too much attention, I sent you out there to find it, okay? So, the, the Ozark Haller was just, it was just a good cover story. What am I supposed to do? The silver, you, you take it. <laughs> I know science wasn't your strong suit, since you literally believe in ghosts, but there's no way I can dig it out of the ground and lift it into my car. Damn it. I knew there was a flaw in my plan. A flaw? A singular flaw? Someone's coming.
Hey, Sarah. Bill's here too. He will definitely see everything that might happen to me. Well, well, Bill. What have you got to say for yourself, huh? I just sent Sarah out there to look for Ozark Howler tracks. Yep. Nothing here. Oh, except the shoe. That still has a foot in it. Oh, that's weird. Totally. I should be going. Look, Sarah, uh, I know about the silver. And I'm here to help you. <laughs> silver. What silver? <laughs> Bill. Dude. You've really got to change the settings on that Google Drive, man. <sighs> Damn it. The map. I'm willing to cut you a deal. We'll split the silver 50-50. Or in thirds. Uh, what choice do I have? Who knew he was so into gardening? I have to go. Huh. Well, that escalated quickly. You're in danger. I'm missing out on my best specials yet. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, Bettina. Hey, Marcian. Totally thought you were dead. <laughs> Whose foot was in that shoe? Gavin Granawetter. Man, I can't believe I missed that other shoe. Man, I feel like such a silly Sally. <sighs> Look, I couldn't find the silver in the dark, so I, I was hoping Sarah would lead me right to it. Oh man, that is such a relief because I thought it might have been the Ozark Howler <laughs> that took him out. Ugh. No, definitely me. I ran him over with my car. I don't know, maybe you Three or four times. So you knew Gavin was out here and something happened to him? It was nighttime and, and Gavin's a stupid douche nozzle anyway. I mean, you could totally handle yourself. It's Gavin. He forgives. No, wait, he forgives no one and is super pissed about dying. I love you. I love you too. Oh, wait. Is that your boss's twin? Check that. Evil twin brother threatening you with an axe. Cool. Context, I think I'm up to speed. Hey, how's it going, man? You know, stuck in my New York City apartment without my girlfriend, living through my second career-destroying global financial crisis, but day trading is dope. And I lost our wedding fund. What? And our honeymoon fund, but onwards and upwards, BTFD, right? You're a dead man. <sighs> that reminds me of the business at hand. Bill, I crawled out of that mine shaft, and now I'm gonna shaft you. Mm. Oh yeah, that was terrible. You gotta come up with something else. Oh, uh, ooh. <sighs> I've got an axe to grind. Too cliche. Oh, uh. I'm about to prospect the mine of your misery. Clunky, but better. You're really gonna kill me in front of three witnesses, including my boyfriend? I've already committed one brutal murder. What's another one? We'll have video of you confessing to the first murder and then committing the second one. Did anyone think to call the cops? Great question. Dude, this place is so remote. It'll take the cops hours to get here. Plus, as far as the video's concerned, man, that's going to be great for my reel as a criminal mastermind. Ah, <laughs> uh, criminal mastermind! laughing now, huh? Come on. Just put gas in this thing. <laughs> uh, uh, you dumb bastard. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh.
special. I feel like I saw something like that digging around in a trash can in the Lower East Side. I thought it was a really big rat, and we made eye contact. It was intense, man. I just became the most famous ghost hunter of all time. I, the Howler, the Silver. My video, Bill, that I almost died to get. Also, do you not care that I just ate your brother? Emotions are high right now, so let's just make sure that we... Well, dear, I'm going to go, as it's almost happy hour around here. It's not even noon. Are we in the same time zone? I pawned your engagement ring. I'll have our money back in no time. Just a heads up, my bookie has your number. So if he calls threatening to kill me, just remember, he's under a lot of stress. That was a titillating tale. Well told indeed. Everyone thought Sarah's video was a hoax, so she didn't make millions of dollars. But she did get a job hosting a funny animal clip show. So, dreams do come true. The Ozark Howler still stalks the hills undisturbed. And that rascal Bill, he managed to overcome his agoraphobia and retrieve the silver. But don't worry. The silver is cursed. Wait, what?